world um welcome welcome i am once again in the school pickup line and i'm not breaking the law because i'm fully parked and fully stationary um yeah it's like you can't really even tell but it's actually kind of like drizzly dr gonna rain so normally we would be hi lane um, i'm trying to flip my screen hey adelina am i saying your name right you have such a pretty name and anytime i say your name i'm like Hope I'm not butchering it. Um, but hi, it looks like I have several people on. If I haven't given you a shout out and you want me to put your name down there, if you like what you're hearing or seeing, tap the screen to give me hearts. I am like a heart fiend on other people's scopes. I'll look at like the end and it's like Nicole Elliott, 300 hearts. And I was like, oh, but it's just so fun to just keep tapping it. And yes, yeah, like that, the pretty, pretty hearts everywhere. So um, Carolina, Adelina? Ad Adelina. Like that? Am I saying it right? Adelina. Cool! I have never met anyone with that name before. So I'm sorry, I have been butchering it in my mind. But you know how you just read it and you know it in your head, like you don't even pronounce it in your head, you just see it? And then when you actually try to say it, hi Barbara, um, then you try to say it out loud and you're like, I'm probably saying this name so wrong. My name's super easy because it's Nicole Elliott, but um, Thank you, I'm sure that happens a lot to you, so I'm sorry. Um, but um, but my last name has two L's and two T's and nobody wants to stick the second T onto it, so it's just kind of funny. And then um, my maiden name was Romero and everybody thought I spoke Spanish, so that was always very funny. Yeah, that's kind of, my husband's name is Robert and so he will answer to anything because there's so many variations. So he's Bob, Bobby, um, yes, I was there. Um, so yeah, so anyways, um, like I was saying, sitting in school pickup line, not breaking the law um, because I'm in park. The kids aren't gonna be out for a while, but it's raining, so we can't do our usual park. Me and my buddy, um, Tyler, usually do a park play date after I pick him up from school, but can't do that right now. And I needed to do a quick, quick training scope for my contributors. So hello, my beautiful ladies who are writing on my blog. We actually just added another girl in. It's really cool to see how God works because it was so funny the other day I was sitting in the doctor's office and I get this text and it was hey you really need to get a hold of me because I have a couple awesome blog ideas but I don't want to open up a site just to do these couple of posts and I was like girl we need to talk and so we did and so she actually came on board too her name's Aubrey hi Aubrey um so now we have me Rebecca Brienne um, Breezy, who is Brienne, um, my sister-in-law, Abby, Darice, Amber, who is not my daughter, is my friend Amber, and Aubrey. So we are like quite the team of writers now. I'm super excited. And none of them, only one of them has actually blogged before. So it's super, super exciting. But so this post is for them and also for others. I did my post a while back about how to make money blogging. Um, and if you haven't watched that, it's on Catch. If you go to um, my different social media pages, you should be able to find it there too. Also, if you're not in my So You Wanna Be A Blogger group on Facebook, um, just type in So You Wanna Be A Blogger on top. I have all the links to everything in there. So today we're talking, gonna talk about sponsored posts. If you watch the other video, you remember that I said that sponsored posts are my favorite way to make money, and they really are. I love sponsored posts. I don't have to worry about selling stuff. Um, basically, it's the only way to make money without physically selling something. Because like affiliate links, you're selling the product and getting a percentage of it. Basically with um, multi-level marketing, direct sales, it's the exact same thing. You're selling a product and getting a, a cut of it. Um, some people do awesome. Like I said, I love my affiliate girls. I love my direct sale mamas. I am just, I've never mastered it. And I've done so well with sponsored content, I've never had to. So kind of best of all the worlds for me. So, sponsor content, you cannot just go um, start up a blog or start writing for me and jump into social fabric and expect that they're gonna pay you $150 a post. It's just not gonna happen. I worked at this for many, many years before I got my first sponsored post. So, there's kind of a progression that you need to follow, especially if you want to get good, consistent sponsored posts. Um, and I'm still not there. Um, for example, there are party sponsored posts. They pay a lot of money. If you've ever thrown a party, you know how much work it is. If you throw a party that's Pinterest worthy and professional level photography worthy, 
we're talking hours and hours and hours of work. It's really funny. My my favorite virtual assistant, Rebecca, um, just did her first review post for me, and she's like, that was so much work. And I was like, people don't realize how much, I mean, blogging is work, hard, hard work. Super fun, one of the most fun jobs you'll ever have, but it's still a lot of work. So how to get sponsor posts. Um, I just dove into the review game. Um, nowadays, um, there still are a lot of companies that have um, stuff out for review. I have a whole Pinterest board uh, on Pinterest called So You Want to Be a Blogger, and it links to a lot of networks that have review products um, that you can just dive right in. Books and movies are super easy to get to review, and they're also super easy to review. So if you want to work your way up to sponsored content, you basically have to start with reviewing content. Um, you could just do a bunch of phenomenal organic posts, but why, but my kind of thing was why, why put all that effort and time, it still would be worth it and I still do do um, organic posts, but if you can start with um, sponsored post or review posts, so what a review post is too, if you um, aren't familiar with it, is like a company sends a baby wrap and that is your compensation, is you will do the post about the baby wrap and in exchange you get to keep the baby wrap. Okay, so no, no money is exchanged in review posts. Um, you just get the product. Or if it's a book, they send you the book and then you review the book and probably put up a review on Amazon. That is your compensation. Um, so there's lots of different places that do reviews um, and different networks and stuff. I love networks. I do get a lot of people who just email me stuff still. Um, and that's one reason I brought in contributors. I'm so busy that I wasn't able to review products anymore. And so I brought in con contributors because I'll still have tons of people emailing me say, hey, would you like to review this? Would you like to review that? Would you like to review this? So what I would say is say yes to the review products, but then craft a sponsored post worthy post out of it. For example, they might just send you mascara, but put together an entire makeup look, do a post about that. You can, you will have gotten some compensation for that out of the review product, but then you can use that post to get selected for a sponsored post where you get to go out and buy a bunch of makeup and put together a whole tutorial and then get paid for it, if that makes sense. Don't ever, so it, in order to get sponsored content, you have to start with either awesome sauce organic content or you have to start with um, review content that is sponsored post worthy. So like I kind of said before, nobody wants a review that's actually a review. You're wanting evergreen content that you can republish on your site year after year if you want to and it would make everybody happy or that you know two years from now on Pinterest you're still going to be getting traffic. I have stuff that I just republished um, from three Easter's ago because I was too busy this year to do Easter content and so I just set up a couple of posts that I had already done for Easter. I popped them up to, for my new readers who had never seen them before and it worked out great. And some of that was um, my review stuff. Um, so I did like a Sharpie marker review for Easter eggs and um, I had done a review of a, a DVD and so what I did for those is I created a, an easy Easter centerpiece. Um, yes and then once you've been doing it for a while, you can also go back and revamp stuff. Um, so you're, you're going to want to have content that's going to stay good for years and years. Because if you're in this for a job, it's a job. You're going to be doing it for years and years, hopefully. Um, like I said, I've been having, I have had my blog for eight years now. I've literally had it from the time that my daughter was born, which is when I, when I started it, to I'm sitting, talking about my blog, and I'm about to pick her up at the end of second grade. So this is a, a long, long commitment if you want it to work, but it can be like the most fun and rewarding job possible. So just always work on creating great content that you can use as an example to get picked for sponsored posts. And um, once you build that up and build up your traffic, then you can dive into the um, sponsored post networks like Social Fabric, like Clever Girls, like Tap Influence, like Blogher. Um, and then for sponsored posts, you basically have to find networks apply for them and then apply for the posts or they will send stuff out to you depending on how the network is run. So um, I just wanted to kind of explain to everybody how, how you would even go about doing sponsored posts or and what you should already be doing if you're wanting to get to that point. Um, you can just have a couple of great examples because if you can say, look, I can knock this out of the park. You can give me my stuff and I will give you um, 
you know, things. And like, if you're already a contributor on an established site like mine, I'm giving my girls a huge benefit, which they all realize, um, in that I'm letting them step into what I have been spent eight years building up as being contributors. Um, the benefit to me is that right now I'm so busy in my life, I'm getting ready to go into a new season and a new time, and I'm not going to have the time to put that fresh content out. Plus, for example, I don't have a newborn. I would have never been able to do the baby posts, but Rebecca can, and that will appeal to a wider audience. So it is benefiting me too, um, but they get to walk in. If you are starting a blog from scratch, you will not have that. You will need to um, build up your great posts. Pinterest is your best friend, um, and build up your traffic and then you can look into getting sponsored content. Um, let's see, a few, I think of some things, they're gonna start sending the kids out in just a minute. Um, hmm. Just a couple of things to look for. Make sure that your contact information is readily, easily available. When I jump onto your site, I wanna be able to know how to contact you. Please have a search engine bar that's very easy for to find. Um, Oh, and for those of you who don't know, I actually work both sides of the fence. I am a blogger, but I also run campaigns. So I very, very, and I've done that for three years now, running campaigns. Or actually, for um, like my part-time job, I've ran for campaigns for three years for blogging and picking bloggers to represent companies. And then before that, I was doing it for about a year and a half. So I've been a, a blog campaign manager for many years now. Um, so from the PR side of it, from the company side of it, I want you to have a nice, clean, um, blog. You should not have anything on your blog that you're not getting. Otherwise, it just looks leathery to me, and I'm like, Ugh. you need to have a great design. It really is worth it to sink. I know it's super painful to sink hundreds of dollars into your design, but you will see it back and then some in the returns you get. Um, don't. Um, I want to see. I don't care if all of your stuff is is sponsored as long as it's interesting, as long as it's valuable. Um, you can have, I, I'm guilty of only having a lot of sponsored content on my own blog, but I spend hours and hours to make sure that that content is good and useful and able to my reader, then that's fine. Um, but it's good to just stick some lifestyle posts in there too, just kind of break it up a little bit. Um, what else? Big, beautiful pictures. And as a campaign manager, it's kind of funny because when I jump on a blog, I want to see professional uh, photographer quality photos and then on my own blog I don't have those so it's a little bit of you know but I know that's what I need to work on and honestly there are people out there there are bloggers out there who have everything they have the content they have the traffic and they have the pictures so I mean we're just the industry is just getting pushed to be better and better but we shouldn't be mad about that we should accept that we're <coughs> professionals and we should continually be striving to become better and better and better um, so those are just some like big, big things to um, work on and work for. And, and it's a learning curve and you will learn. And it's so nice now because there's so many resources out there from bloggers like me and like people who are actually monetizing this and people who have made over six figures and they can tell you do this, do this, do this. Whereas them and me, we all learned it by doing it wrong and by messing up and by failing. And so it's so nice now that there are actually resources out there. Whereas I would just kind of stumbled my way through and went, oh, I'll figure this out as I go along. So um, just the fact that you're like, just seek out those resources. And I even seek them out and I still learn stuff that I learned that I've been doing stuff the hard way the whole time when I could have been doing it this easy way, you know? So just find resources on writing great sponsored posts and, and, and uh, that. So basically that's kind of to explain how to get you to the point where you're making good money blogging um, and just to kind of encourage you and tell you it won't happen right away. But depending on how devoted you are and how much time and effort and energy you have to put into it, um, you can get there pretty fast. Um, but they're about to send the kids out. So I will be on my merry little way and I hope you all have a wonderful, amazing afternoon. And, um, if you know anybody who wants to be a blogger or this would be useful or informational at all, go ahead and share it out to your followers and I will see you all later. Have a wonderful day. Bye.